From an early age, my father instilled a pride and patriotism in me that carried me far in life. I dedicated myself to serving the crown. I don't regret it, though it's not been without its challenges. One of those challenges was working with the saints in taking down Cyrus Temple. When Matt Miller came on as my field coordinator, he had a lot of opinions about the Third Street Saints. I've always liked Matt, but I admit he's easily wounded and a bit tetchy when it comes to past offences. Still, he managed to set some low expectations for that first mission with the Saints. I'm a creature of habit, of structure, which doesn't fit well with the Saints' M.O. They have their way of doing things, and at times... I have no idea what they're thinking, or of their infatuation with those god-awful freckled bitches' hamburgers. But, when it comes down to it, they get things done. That's impressive, and I'm not easily impressed. I built, I watched, and then I acted. That's how I brought the Vice Kings up to be one of the strongest crews in Stillwater. Only problem was my lieutenants didn't have the same patience. That bitch Tanya drove a wedge between Tony and Warren. Then she convinced Warren to try and take me out, only to stab him in the back and take it all for herself. I may have lost the Vice Kings, but killing her almost made it worth the trouble. Good thing the player was there to help. After the fall of the Vice Kings, I figured it was time to get out of the game. Living the life I had, I didn't want all that experience to go to waste. Figured a book would allow me to work out my demons and show the world what the game took from me. Didn't know it'd take off so well. Shit, if I had known back then what I do now, probably would have gone legit sooner. I always knew the Saints were ambitious, but I never thought I'd see them end up in the White House. And when the player called me saying how they couldn't do it without me, how could I say no? Thought maybe I was in line for vice president, but I guess Keith beat me to it. Still, being the president chief of staff certainly had its perks. Not bad for a kid from Sunnyvale Gardens. When I first signed on to head the STAG initiative, I figured it would be a cushy job. After all, pitting a military organization against common street thugs seemed like a one-sided battle. The Saints changed that perspective quickly. Monica Hughes had no idea what she was sending me into. The leader of the Saints is insane. We expected them to tear through Steelport, but no one knew what they were really capable of. After they destroyed that aircraft carrier, Hughes should have approved the data list right then and there. I'll never regret that night I had with Kia. She opened my eyes to things I'd only seen in Guam. What does she call it? The helicopter. There's no way they teach that in basic training. I gotta admit, I didn't think much of the boss when they first joined the crew. I thought there was no way they were gonna make it through being canonized, let alone be any help taking over Stillwater. Hell, they didn't even talk back then. But after that shit with the Vice Kings, I knew we found ourselves one hell of a saint. There's nothing the boss can't do. Things ain't ever been easy for the Saints. First, we lost Lynn to the Rollers back in Stillwater. And then Julius tried blowing up the boss and the Saints fell apart. And after getting the crew back together, the Brotherhood had Carlos killed and... Aisha. Well, I lost her to the Ronin. And then fucking Philippe Loren tried taking me out, only to have Zinyak come in and snatch me from the Saints anyway. Like I said, shit's always been rough. When the Vice Kings stopped being about protecting Sunnyville, I knew it was time to get out of the game. I was hoping that Benjamin could keep the city locked down, but years passed, and it ended up being the same old shit. Only this time, the victims were the people in Saints Row. I thought the Vice Kings was a cautionary tale that I learned something from. That if I built a new street gang, I could control it. Not make the same mistakes King did. I was so fucking naive.
I knew early on what it was I'd let loose on Stillwater. The plier was reckless and uncaring. Left a wake of bodies pointing right back at us. Think more of the city was destroyed than saved in the end. Sure, the saints were taken over. But at what cost? I couldn't risk letting a sociopath run things. So I did what I had to do. Never thought the bastard would survive the explosion. I don't regret much. You make your choices, you live with them. But if I could take anything back, it would be the way things ended up with Angela. It was all fun and games for her. She wanted to be just like Benjamin. I shouldn't have let her get in so deep. Okay, I'm going to say this again. Why did we work with Matt Miller? Did everyone forget what he did to me back before I joined the Saints? I mean, come on! He set me up to be fired from the FBI and got all my ideas completely discredited just because they think I'm into kink? The truth of that aside, he ruined my life and now he's a good guy? This... this just isn't fair! First, I told the FBI. Then I told the Saints. Then I told the President and the entire Secret Service, and still they wouldn't listen. Now here we are, abducted by aliens and trapped in technology far beyond what we had on Earth. You know, if I'd only got the budget for my planetary defense system, we wouldn't be stuck up here dealing with the Zin. I mean, it would only have cost $3.1 Hey, I tried to warn the military, but they didn't want to listen to the press secretary. Oleg is one of the best things that ever happened to me, and right now it feels like the worst. I'm up here trying to save us from captivity and psychological torture, and all I can think about is him. He's the only one who ever truly understood what I was saying. I never thought I'd meet someone with an intelligence nearly matching my own who made me feel like I wasn't constantly missing something in my life. Now I am. Now I miss him. When I heard the Saints were back in Stillwater, I figured it couldn't hurt to have a little more muscle on the Brotherhood side. 2080 was a fair split for a bunch of has-beens from the row. After all, we were the strongest crew in the city. What do we have to fear from them? If their leader wasn't such a greedy asshole, maybe things wouldn't have escalated like they did. After what the Saints did to my face, they had to expect a little payback. Carlos was an easy target and hurt their boss the most, but Jessica? I was going too far. Then Vogel rips off my shipment after letting my crew get killed, and I wasn't about to let the Brotherhood go down because of some prick in a suit. I thought I had that saint dead to rights. I mean, they couldn't kill me in my own home. What chance did they have to survive my trap? I had the perfect setup. Even used the truck that killed Jessica for a little poetic justice. But it didn't matter. I lost. Fucking saints. I'd say it's a tough world for someone to live in, but I'd be lying. Well, if they were the god of the cyber world like I was, that is. Put me in front of the latest technology and there wasn't anything I couldn't do. Even the FBI couldn't stop me. And believe me, they tried. Kinsey Kensington came close, but a few additions to her file and some photos, and even she couldn't come close to crashing my fun. Probably why I was recruited into the Syndicate in the first place. Working for the Syndicate was a great job. That is, until Philippe Loren died, because Kilbane was one scary psychopath. I mean, I watched him kill Kiki right in front of me, and right in front of her own sister. So I went after the Saints instead. Wrong choice on my part, but they let me live, and surprisingly so did Kilbane. Only option then was to leave the country and hide. How was I supposed to know that MI6 would end up offering me asylum just so they could pair me up with one of their operatives? I mean, Nasha and I got along great, but now I had to work with the government instead of against it. Not usually my cup of tea. Still, I guess it's better than being hunted down by the Saints, or Kilbane. I just have to keep myself from pissing off a trained killer, is all. <laughs> to 
boss was a lot more hardcore back in the day. He managed to pull the saints back from the grave. Didn't take any shit from anyone, especially the Brotherhood, the Ronin, or the Sons of Somni. Hell, anyone that got in the way lost everything they had. Not just their life. Still, it's too bad what happened to Carlos, though. He was a good kid. Shonda and I had a relationship. I came up with all the ideas. She got all the credit. Never seemed fair. I guess it worked out in the end, though. <laughs> with me being an international celebrity and all. <laughs> okay, maybe it didn't all work out the way I planned. You know, Shonda got a TV show and every guy in the world wanted her. I was doing commercials and barely getting my music off the ground. But still... Now I'm the Deputy Chief of Staff of the President of the United States, so that's got to count for something. Though, I don't think the approval ratings are going to much matter anymore. The moment I walked into that underground shithole the crew was setting up in, I knew it all had potential. So the Saints had been out of the game a while. So what? We had the boss and we had Johnny Gat. What more did we need? I knew I was a little rough around the edges, but I was willing to learn. Then the boss goes and throws me the Sons of Somdi. Now that was a drag. I should have known dating that asshole was going to end badly. Veteran child. What kind of name is that anyway? Sure he had hookups for some of the best drugs in Stillwater, but that's no excuse. And he comes and tries to kill me? Whatever. He didn't have a chance against the boss. I tried to warn him, but he never listened to me. Only the boss really did. Damn, we had some good parties after all that. Then again, I knew how to have a good time. A little loa dust, some beer bongs, some hacky sack, and bam! Instant party. We all needed the distraction after taking over Ultor. And distractions are what I do best. I mean, what did any of us know about running a multi-billion dollar company after all? <laughs> Though a few hits off the light bulb later, we didn't really care. It's amazing looking back on how I used to be. Constantly baked out of my mind, always looking for the next party. You'd think after I got my own dating show, I would have been even more of a train wreck, but doing TV is hard work. Who has time to go smoke up when they have to be on set at 6 a.m.? Ever since that night on Loren's plane, things haven't been the same. I used to be fun and carefree. I used to smile and laugh. Now I just want everyone to pay for what the syndicate did. Johnny didn't deserve to die like that. He was the toughest person I knew. And it's my fault. I should have gone back for him. The boss kept the crew together when we landed in Steelport. First we took out that asshole Philippe and then Kilbane for what he did to Johnny's funeral. Stag was just icing on the cake, really. I thought I'd be happy with revenge, but it was never the same. Even when the boss won the election and we moved to the White House, I couldn't stop thinking about what Johnny would say about it all. Putting me in charge of the brothels was the best idea King ever had. There's no way anyone else in Stillwater would have been able to control the girls the way I did. It brought in the money, it brought in the clients, and it would have been the backbone of the Vice Kings if Gat and all the Saints hadn't ruined it all. King never had the control he thought he did over the Vice Kings. It was all me and Warren keeping things running. Well, mostly me. Warren's ego got just as big as Benjamin's in the end. He thought the two of us would rule the city. Guess he didn't know me like he thought he did. Warren, Tony, Alderman Hughes, I had them all wrapped around my finger. They would have died for me. Come to think of it, <laughs> I guess they did. I'm not the first actor to move into politics, but I'm one of the better ones. Theater, film, television, animation, commercials. Shit, I've even done video games. Though video games aren't exactly renowned for their storytelling. Still, I'd conquered acting. By the time I got the call from the Saints, I was ready for something new. How did I go from award-winning actor to vice president of the United States? Hell if I know. But when the head of the Saints calls you up and makes you an offer, well, it's something you consider. I liked the idea of being a statesman, 
having my name in the history books. It's a hell of a dream. Plus, I look good in a suit. I'd look even better on money. Zinyak kicked the stool out from under my political aspiration when he and his armada showed up. One of the worst things you can do is piss off America. Now, I don't necessarily agree with how the president is handling these things. Seems there must be a better way. I'm not saying I'd do better, but... Shit, maybe that's exactly what I'm saying. If I had the chance, anyway. <laughs>